the U.S. will withdraw from the United Nations Human Rights Council, according to a report. A growing number of governors, including at least two Republicans, were vowing not to deploy National Guard troops and resources to help secure the southern border, citing the Trump administration's zero-tolerance policy for illegal border crossings that has led to children being separated from their parents. Richard Ojeda, the Democrat running to represent West Virginia's 3rd Congressional District, said Tuesday he would be open to working with the Trump administration if elected to Congress in November, striking a more conciliatory tone in comparison to before his primary contest. The next generation of inventors are still in their garages waiting to file the next million patents and grow the economy even more. A senior administration official warned Tuesday that China has underestimated President Trump's resolve to hold the country accountable for its unfair trade practices, a day after the White House intensified its efforts by threatening new tariffs on $200 billion of Chinese goods. Washington Examiner staff more than 2,000 adults who attempted to illegally enter the U.S. from Mexico between ports of entry have been referred by U.S. Customs and Border Protection to the Justice Department for Prosecution, forcing about the same number of children to be taken into federal custody, a Homeland Security Department official told reporters Tuesday. The View co-host Meghan McCain called out President Trump's daughter and White House aide Ivanka Trump on her silence regarding her father's zero-tolerance policy that has led to children being separated from their parents at the border. The White House disputed Tuesday that it was involved a trade war with China, even after President Trump said Monday he might impose tariffs on another $200 billion worth of imports from China after the U.S. And China are already imposing tariffs on $50 billion worth of each other's goods. Current state attorneys general from nearly half the states are urging the Trump administration to end its new, zero-tolerance, immigration policy. The Air Force is resuming routine flights of B-1B bombers after a two-week grounding prompted by a malfunction of the aircraft ejection system during an emergency landing last month. U.S. Customs and Border Protection said Tuesday that 301 children who arrived at the U.S.-Mexico border with an accompanying adult from October 2017 to April 2018 were found to have no relation to the adult who posed as their parent or guardian. As Lt. Gen. Scott Miller faced tough questions Tuesday from Senate Democrats weighing his nomination as the new U.S. Commander in the 17-year-old Afghanistan war, he pointed to his uniformed son sitting behind him. West Point graduate Spencer Rapone, a second lieutenant who caused a stir last year by posting photos to Twitter that earned him recognition as the Tommy Cadet, left the U.S. Army on Monday and received another than honorable discharge. The United States and Europe don't share certain values, a spokesman for the French government said, reacting to the Trump administration's zero-tolerance policy for illegal border crossings. Republican Sen. Lindsey Graham urged President Trump on Tuesday to listen to his wife, First Lady Melania Trump, after she appeared to criticize the administration's border policy that separates children from their parents.